Hello everyone, welcome to this Jaltas Marine demo. This is going to be a very short video between 5 and 10 minutes. The idea is to provide a general overview of what is Jaltas Marine. So in the case you need more information, you want more pricing or anything, you can just contact us. Uh, you can also access our YouTube channel where we have more vlogs and webinars. Um, so let's get started. Um, first of all, what is Jaltas Marine? Jaltas Marine is an all mix and all systems diagnostics tool. Besides the dealer level diagnostics, we provide technical information. We have a management tool called GRP, and then we have the customer support, and we can even do a remote assistance. We have four different models, and but we have different configurations. So if you're just working, for example, let's say outboards, we can have an outboard package for you or if you want to work on outboards and inboards we have a package for you if you're on the full software kit we have a package for you okay so first of all let's show the coverage on the inboard side we have 29 brands we cover diesels and gasoline now let's get to the outboard side we have 12 brands all gasolines um, actually today I'm going to do an example with uh, Mercury Outboard uh, watercraft we have or jet skis we have five uh, different brands and finally we have the stationary engine uh, side okay this is pretty diesel and you can use it for your gen sets compressors hydraulic pumps wire pumps etc everything that that you have a stationary engine inside okay so today i want to do a demo with the mercury outboard i am and precise is going to be a verado 250 so first thing i click on the outboard image now i have to look for the brand this is mercury now we have all the families here all the models i'm going to click verado and then i'm going to click 250 Verado. As you can see, it's an all systems diagnostic tool. It's true that in most of the brands on the marine side, you just find the engine because that's it. Uh, but you can also find other brands where you have uh, multi systems. In this case, we can access uh, the small craft uh, systems, the G3 systems, such as the DTS for the leverage calibration. Same thing of, of the engine, you can connect to the G1, G2, um, second or first generation on the engine side or the G3. Okay. So we cover also G3s. Whenever we want to connect, we always uh, we can always help uh, ourselves with a connector or help symbol because we guide you through the process. We highlight uh, you where the, the connector is. Sometimes it's kind of tricky. This is a bigger image of the connector. This is the pinout detail and this is the cables you need. In this case, the direct connector for this system is the JD3, JDC603A. What happens if we don't have the direct connector? We know that on the marine industry we have so many cables, or maybe we lost it, we forgot it, it fell into the water, etc. We can always use the multi pins which are included inside the hard case. This is a plan B thing, and it's very simple and the same structure for Mercury and other brands. B and C, okay, so it's gonna be B and C, then we have B, D is gonna be yellow and d okay so pin b we have yellow pin c we have green and two jtp ones uh what else here we are just getting the communication so we have to use another cable that is inside the hard case to provide external power supply uh with the batteries okay so either way direct connector or multi-pins uh, we can connect and that's it now we can access the diagnostics menu uh, with all the dealer level functionalities let's start with the full codes reading we can read obviously not only generic but also proprietary full codes we can see the state of the code the code and then we can have the description something that's game changer with jaltas marine is with all the extra features so first first of all we have the free stream data uh, priority last occurrence etc and this is one of the things i like the most from the software as we provide technical information within the software, we can relate at any time technical information and diagnosis or vice versa, or diagnostics and the management tools, support, etc. So we are able to tell you what companies are related to the full code. And if you click here and see information about the company, you will see images in this case of the component location and we can click here and we will take you to the live measurements uh, what else wine diagrams we know that um, you can have uh, an active full code um, but uh, that doesn't mean the component is damaged it can be uh, the wiring that's damaged or or anything so we provide this information so you know exactly how this component is connected to the ecm you can access all the components that are connected to the ecm 
so you don't need to have an active fault code to check this left and right components and in the middle you double you double click and you have image of the ecm which is the component that we're selecting at the moment the location and here you have the pinout so this is a um, excellent and wonderful information that we provide that is not diagnostics but it's part of the repair process okay so let's get back uh, what else do we have i won't have time to explain everything that's why you can check our youtube channel uh, system data this is the ecu data then we have operation data okay we have the total data or the trip data with the engine operation hours you know with the rpm ranges and all that uh, you can check your live measurements. Okay? You can check li your live measurement in three ways: uh, gauges, your the numeric uh, value, or you can always uh, graph it. I'm gonna do this real quick, so you can always graph it. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, on the live measurement side, you can also do your C trials, and you will be able to record it with the data recorder. You select the measurements you're interested in. You start to do your C trial. You go back to your shop. You click play and you will see everything okay equip components you have all these full injectors uh, components actuation ignition coils you know um, boost pressure control actuator etc system checks you can do your cylinder cutouts uh, parameters you can change the configurations not just for maintenance also to change your parameters like tachometer or the engine location uh, calibration you can adjust the trail limit and you can also uh, do the calibration for the trailer mode okay this is the diagnostics uh, menu and let's get started with the technical information uh, where do we get all those information of those components related to the fault code from here for the from the technical information column diagrams that just show that to you uh, maintenance data this is a report that we can generate this is taken from the official manuals with all the tasks that we will have to be doing. Uh, for example, every year, uh, we just need to check everything that we're doing and we will generate a maintenance report. Uh, technical data, okay? So it's not all about diagnostics, also technical information. That's super important uh, for us and with the job test uh, project, okay? You can have, for example, propulsion system, fuel system, lubrication, information, etc. I would highlight the tiny torques. Uh, for example, we tell you here um, all the information, the order, and if we, if we need to apply uh, force or angle and in what stage, okay? Also the adjustments and tolerance. This is a fantastic information. Troubleshoot and symptoms, okay? So we have two types of troubleshooting. So one is by symptoms, uh, the other one's by uh, fault code. So it's a step-by-step -step procedure to solve our potential problems, okay? Um, a good thing of job test is that we can even customize our information. Um, you can click the pl pl uh, blue plus sign and add your own personalized troubleshooting guides. Okay, everything that we're doing is being saved in a diagnostics report, so you can always access this. And you will be have everything saved under a specific customer a vessel. You can add your logo in here. Uh, everything you're doing is being saved, and it's then saved on your GRP. Okay. The good thing of the GRP, the management tool, is that it's being saved if you want on the cloud at no extra cost. And you can even connect different computers where you have Jotas installed and share all that information. Okay. Now at, the, at this step, I will um, have to be saving the report. I'm not going to do it at this point. And finally, let me show you the GRP. The GRP, as I said, is the management tool and you will be able to um, create your customer list, create your vessel list, access all your reports. You can create different user IDs for your, all your employees, technicians, or even not, not only technicians, people in reception, people at the office. Uh, you can uh, create reception forms, you can assign work orders. So it's very complete. This is not diagnostics, it's my management tool and it's included at no extra cost with uh, with us in Jotas. And finally, we have the 
customer support, super important. We are uh, reachable by phone, uh, by email, and we can even do remote assistance, okay? So a pretty complete tool. We want to offer a 360 degrees uh, solution for the technicians. So if you want more information, uh, you can contact us or you can always check our YouTube channel so you can see and watch more uh, videos, vlogs, and webinars. Thank you and see you soon.